Welcome to the testing word. So now we are ready to write code in Selenium Ruby. And in this session, I'm going to write a code for starting the browser and then enter URL. For this session, I'm going to work on Chrome browser. So first of all, I'm moving to my Ruby mine environment. And here I'm having a project. Inside the project, first of all, I'm creating a file. It's a simple Ruby file that I'm going to create. So I'm just giving the name TC001. And that's a Ruby file. Now, previously we have installed Selenium WebDriver gem. I just want to update here. After installing the gem, if you want to use that gem in your Ruby mine, and your Ruby mine is currently opened, means my Ruby mine is open and in parallel I have installed the gem. So it is suggestive to restart your Ruby mine because sometimes it is not picking currently installed libraries or I'll say gems. So if you restart your Ruby mine, it will pick all the libraries which are installed. WebDriver gem is also installed, so it will pick that. Now I'm taking like you have restarted your Ruby mine and your Selenium WebDriver gem is also installed. So we need to write code over here. So first of all, we need to go for require, which gem you require. So Selenium web driver is my gem, which I'm going to use. Next, we need to create object of Selenium web driver. For creating object, you know that driver is equal to, we have the module structure, we have already covered what is module. So we have the module with the name Selenium and that shows it's a module. If you check it here, we are getting M means module. And if we come inside it, we have one more module that is sub module that is web driver. So if we check here, we are going for the module with the name web driver and inside the module, inside this module, we have a method with the name four. Here we are going to pass symbol as a argument and hope you remember previously we have covered what is symbols. So symbols is quite similar to the variables. Their name is starting with the colon. So you can go and check what is symbol. So we need to pass symbol argument. I'm passing Chrome. When this line will execute, it will start or initiate the browser. Now I want to open url thing opening the url driver dot get and whatever the url you want to pass so i'm passing https www.facebook.com you can open any url i'm going to execute i'm just saving it and going to execute this it will fail as of now i'll show you once it is failed i'm going to the reason of the failure what it is showing unable to find chrome driver you can download this from this location now point is what is chrome driver selenium web driver or i'll say my selenium code is going to communicate with the browser we are going to perform our task on the browser but i am writing the code here in the ruby my browser does not understand ruby then how we can communicate with the browser. So to make this communication possible, every browser is giving its plugin. We can communicate any browser through the plugin and that plugin is provided by the browser itself. So we are going to use this plugin as an intermediate channel or I'll say we can use this inter uh, plugin as an interface between us and the browser. So now in the web driver, as you know, we are writing the code in the Ruby and browser does not understand Ruby. How we can make communication? For the communication, we need interface and that interface is provided by the browser itself. So here it's showing for the Chrome, you need a Chrome driver means you need that plugin and you did not set up that plugin as of now. Now, next we need to set up that plugin. Only after that, I can communicate with the browser. How to set up plugin now? So before creating object of your web driver we need to mention 
selenium selenium is a module we know and that's a selenium module and then we are going for the web driver module then we are going for chrome we have a module with the name chrome and inside the chrome we have a method with the name driver path and here we need to pass that path how to pass this path how for sending this path first we need to download that so if you notice that's a location from where we can download it just moving to the browser here you will see lot of versions are here you can download latest version or what you can do first you check what is version of your browser so if i check in my case version of my browser is chrome 59 so you can check chrome driver for chrome 59 because if you are using the different version which is not compatible with your browser your browser will not be started or i'll say my test case will not be able to communicate with the browser so we need a specific version so i'm just going here if you notice it shows you can use 2.31 chrome driver which is supporting 58 to 60 so now we got to know we can use 2.31 you just need to download this zip file and once it is downloaded just unzip it i have already downloaded in my system so i just want to show you i have already downloaded and unzip that here in my system that's the location where this file is placed we need to copy this location and we can set it over here so i am setting this is the path and this is the file name i would suggest whenever you are giving the file name here you will notice ch color is changed because some words are the keywords here in ruby so it is taking the ch as a keyword i would suggest whenever you are giving give path with the forward slash so it will skip all these keywords it will take it as a string now so now everything is done and now i'm ready to execute my code so i'm just saving it i'm just going to run it and now you will notice it is started browser entered url once it is done browser is closed even you will think about i did not write the code for closing the browser why it's closed so here in ruby whenever instance use is completed i have created an object or the instance of the web driver and on this line driver object is completed i'm not using it anymore so it automatically delete that it automatically remove it or i'll say it automatically set it null means close it now my requirement is after executing the test case i don't want to close it i want to keep it open as of now we we just want to see what is happening on my browser so i just want to keep it open till the end until unless i close it by the coding first we need to copy this line set it here in your code and that is desired capabilities so desired capabilities you can understand whatever the settings i want to do on the driver which i'm opening we can set it by desired capabilities i'm going to explain this capability on a later sessions but as of now we can understand i'm just saying for the chrome we set chrome option which is detach property which is true so that is a predefined property which we need to set now my browser will not be closed automatically and here as a second argument we need to pass this everything is done now i'm going to execute my test case so you will notice it will start browser enter url but it will not close the browser so here we have seen how, how we can start browser and now we can write rest of the code for for writing our test cases that's all we have for this session here we have seen how we can work on a chrome browser we can start browser and now onwards we can write our test cases that's the task we have performed in current session thanks for watching this video hi friends hope you are enjoying this video 
If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities. If you are interested to buy any video course or all video course, you can call or WhatsApp us on this number. Also, you can be in touch with us by using Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter. Happy learning!